As you can tell, this is an ASMR video, so I'm gonna voice it over as enthusiastic as I can. Hi guys, long time no see. I miss y'all so much. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make black tapioca pearls. It's a piece of cake, but so good. First of all is the tapioca pearls. You have to mix 125 grams of tapioca starch and 10 grams of cocoa powder in a cat bowl. Don't tell me you haven't got this cat bowl yet. Mwahaha. Well, I don't have a cat bowl, so we're gonna use a normal bowl. But before we start, we gotta scale the recipe up by five times. So 10 grams times five is 50 grams. And then 125 grams times five is, um... 620 grams of tapioca starch and 50 grams of cocoa powder. Hoo it reminds me of my cat breaking two, three cat bowls at once. I just wanna kill him? So without threatening to take the life of any animal, we're just gonna mix it up real quick. Uh, leave the cat bowl besides and let's move on to the sugar. Put 60 grams of black sugar in the pot. So 300 grams of Taiwanese black sugar. This is handcrafted, I wonder how. Along with that is 5 grams of tapioca starch and 70 milliliters of water. So 25 grams of starch and 350 milliliters. After that, put it on the stove with low heat. Cook and mix at the same time because the mixer is cooked real fast. Keep mixing until it's condensed like this. So boba is a Cantonese slang for giant breasts. It was first used in the 70s to describe the famous Hong Kong actress Amy Yi. No need to explain why. And then later, people just named her favorite drink, also boba. To that, all I have to say is... Everybody's so creative! Take the tapioca flour and cocoa powder that already mixed in the pot right after that. What? Mix the flour well with sugar mixer, but be careful. This stupid tapioca flour is heavy and easy to splash everywhere. The camera is not showing it, but the tapioca starch is getting all up in the air. My apartment is getting really powdery, and I don't even have a vacuum. Gonna have to resort to the chop chop method. At first, the flour will be separated and a little bit hot, but try around a few minutes. You should be careful, don't get burned. I'll be hurt. Hi, hi, hi. We'll dump it out of the pan and try to knead it into a smooth dough. We have a lot more volume than him, so we gotta knead it for longer. It's really dry and hard, so we gotta keep pushing it to the center. Just kidding. <laughs> when the flour is smooth, then stop. After that, shape the flowers, divide to four parts, roll into a long shape. The more I knead it, the more it looks like nutritious, fertile soil for organic plum tomatoes. I'm gonna get it a little wet so the ball is easier to handle. Wow, ACDC be damned. I am Shenra, whatever. What do you want? Add the pearls into a boil water pot, more water. After the water boil again, begin to count time. 20 minutes. After we dust them with tapioca starch, they're looking like those Japanese snack I always overpay for, but never enjoyed. After boiling, put the lid back on for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, we'll test it with a stick and it's definitely not cooked. We'll put the lid back on for a few hours. Thousand years later. So I accidentally fell asleep and they've been simmering for 6 hours. I feel like they're definitely done at this point. Bring the cooked pearls into a different pot. Add more 50 milliliters of water along with 35 grams brown sugar. So I mix 250 milliliters of water and 200 grams of brown sugar off camera and I add it to the pot. Place on a stove and continue to cook for second times. So this time you have to stir a lot. We'll just keep stirring it till it gets to a syrup consistency. The pearls after cooked should drink around 3 to 5 hours. Don't put it in the fridge, it'll get hardened and blah blah. Now that the balls are done, the assembly will be based on my intuition. First, put my English BFs in a bowl and pour a lot of hot water into it. We'll let it sit for about 20 minutes. Next, we'll make a cheese foam on top because we're fancy. So a whole block of cream cheese and a cup of sugar. We'll blend it up with my Ligma fork. And then we'll add a cup of heavy cream and then start whipping it till it looks like it might float on milk. We're a little short on calories, so dissolve a cup of sugar with hot water. Top with ice and then add the syrup. Now we're ready to assemble. We'll first gently place in our Dragon Ball sized pearls along with the syrup. 
and then our diabetes,、uh, I mean sweet tea. The first person who has ever milked a cow must have endured a lot of humiliation and judgment among his village. Now history has circled around. My friends judge me for the occasional glass of cold milk in the afternoon. The cheese foam is a little thick. I feel like if I add some eggs and throw in the oven, it'll become cheesecake. And I'm gonna use a plastic pipe from my AC as a straw. And a lot of you didn't like the way I hold it. Well, I have to say, this does not look good. Disclaimer: This is just me sipping bubble tea, not a live demonstration of the Gluck Gluck 9000. Surprisingly, it tasted really sweet. With this much of tea, milk, and sugar, it can feed a whole town of old English ladies. This is looking like the forbidden fruit from hell, but I just have to take a bite from it. The center is hard as a rock, but the outer layer is pretty chewy and soft, though. In case you're interested, this is the macronutrients for this dish, if you can call it that. It's pretty balanced. Just remember that no matter what you're eating, as long as you shout out gains while you're eating it,、uh, you'll gain muscle. My roommate's having people over, even though I told him I prefer not to. So this is how I'm gonna show my hospitality. Everybody gonna taste this today. All right. Thank you.